Welcome to the University of Texas at Austin. It is with great excitement that we gather today to officially celebrate the groundbreaking of our energy engineering building. Today we mark the beginning of the next chapter in the Cockrell School's history of formally breaking ground on a building that will have a profound impact on Texas engineering by enhancing energy education and research across the 40 acres. We are also here today to recognize an extraordinary investment in this vision from a truly remarkable member of our Texas engineering family, Gary Thomas. Thanks to Gary's generous commitment in support of the construction of the Energy Engineering Building, this 184,000 square foot facility will transform UT Austin and ensure that the future of energy continues to be shaped in Texas. I am so pleased that this building will stand as a testament to Gary's dedication and generosity for decades to come. When the EEB opens its doors in two years, it will inspire bold new ideas and collaborative real-world solutions, and it will serve as a launch pad for future students. So on behalf of our entire engineering student body, I want to extend our gratitude to Mr. Thomas and everyone here today who helped make this building possible. Thanks to you, what starts here truly will change the world. Today marks another monumental step forward for the Cockrell School of Engineering and for our great university as we officially break ground for what will be known as the Gary L. Thomas Energy Engineering Building. We can't thank Gary Thomas enough for recognizing that this truly is an investment in the future of the energy industry and hence the future of the state of Texas. Opportunity was given to me, making it possible for me to attend UT Engineering. And now it's my opportunity to give back to the University of Texas at Austin. This new energy engineering building will be the best of its kind and a great tool for integrated teaching and research and learning. I guarantee you it will be a magnificent building and tool for the University of Texas.